AC is running, computer is here, and my mobile is here. I can even go on my mobile and tuck, 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 Amazon.com. I get a book in a few days. Similarly, you know, there are so many other examples. You know, you have railway reservation, for example. If you go to railway reservation center, you don't have, you don't have to really go and you know stand in line for so many days and you know so many so many hours. I mean, and uh, you know just spend so much time. Now you just, you just go there and uh, um, just you know do the reservation. So many reservations are done on the internet these days. And the examples go on and on and on like that. You know you have e-commerce sites, you have auction sites. Um, then you have, uh, you know, even if we say that earlier we could call people and be in touch, that also now is, is much more easy now because you know you have IP telephony. So you know you go there, you have very cheap way of connecting to the other countries. You, earlier you had to wait for an hours and hours just to make a trunk call to uh, another city. Now you can make calls to USA, to, you, to any country in the world. Basically. So the IP telephony, all these things would not be possible without internet. So, you know, in this age and time, can I even ask this question whether it's a bane or boon? But again, as all good things are there, you know, there is always, you know, the second second part of, uh, uh, you know, second side, other side of every, every issue. For example, internet still strength, you know, if I have my colleagues, for example, I work in IT company, and my colleagues, if they have a problem, if they have to debug something, what do they do? They go on Google and, you know, get some solutions. But again, I see there that the solution that they look for, there are hundreds of solutions listed over there. Now they have to go and pick one which actually suits them. And people are losing so much patience that they don't want to even try and look at the solution and read it properly to find out whether it's even applicable or not. You know, they just go from solution to solution and they just can't spend time on this. So that's the downside there. Another saddening part and very, very threatening part, I would say, is internet pornography. That's so much happened these days. And my shock, I went to my hometown around three, four, four years ago, and uh, I was trying to do some business. I needed to you know, contact my company. I was on vacation. And I just happened to go there. I saw around, say, 15, 16 year old boy, and he was on the internet side, you know, on the pornography side. It was so sad to see. Similarly, we have um, the cyber crimes. They are so much rampant these days. You know, if you go to a bank site, you never know when your money will be stolen. Stolen. So, um, you know, you have, you are thinking that you are a millionaire, but you know, your million might go away here and there. So anyway. Of course, there are safeguards that can be kept, and uh, you know there can be other things that we can uh, do to uh, protect that identity, protect our uh, safety. But there are downsides. But does it mean that we just uh, discard a gift that has been given to us? Probably not. No. We can take proper measures and educate people and come up with other alternatives where there are weaknesses. For example, children who are you know, going to such sites, they probably are not directed well. They are not educated well. So they need to be educated. They, the character development needs to take place. We need to spend time with them. We need to um, emotionally connect with them. Similarly, um, you know, cyber crimes, etc., there is so much work going on right now to prevent these kind of things. And again, this also depends on morality of the society. So we can take steps to improve the morality of the society by which these kind of things can be reduced. So again, my conclusion would be, my uh, decision would be not to give up this internet, not to just uh, you know abandon, abandon this thing, a great tool that we've got, but again, as a, with any great tool, we need proper measures for educating people and to uh, make it more and more useful and remove all the